thank you so much. Wonderful to have you on, on 702 and on Cape Talk as well and on radio in South Africa. So you have gone from narrating one of the most famous fictionalized prison breaks of all time, Andy Dufresne's incarceration and escape to, to this famous prison breaks in real life and in great escapes. What's the, the appeal of prisoners for you? I don't have a particular appeal to prisoners. This, this, the idea for this uh, series um, just sort of occurred to our documentary um, Maven, James Younger, and uh, we we decide these things. You know, should we we go for it? Yes, absolutely, we should go for it. And um, so, it's as simple as that. It's a fascinating uh, subject matter, as you know. Um, the fact that uh, incarcerated men, I don't think a woman has ever escaped from prison. I don't know. But uh, the incarcerated men uh, who set their minds to getting out of a uh, fortress, it's just fascinating to watch it happen. Oh, I mean, fascinating. Well, well, incarceration has obviously been a, a recurring theme for you. You also played one of the most famous prisoners of all time in, in South Africa's former president, Nelson Mandela. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, <laughs> but it's not because I was not fascinated by the fact that he was a prisoner in South Africa. We're fascinated by the fact that he was 27 years in prison and came out and was elected president of South Africa. So uh, you've spoken about the, the ingenuity that is so fascinating about these guys that break out of prison. And if you think about how much effort and how much thought and dedication goes into it to pull off an escape like this, and they really are ingenious in the way that they, they do. Um, so, so what stands out for you in terms of the ingenuity and some of the stories that you tell in Great Escapes? Oh, well, just the very fact of that ingenuity of the, how long it takes to plan, uh, set up, and execute a, a, an escape from a maximum security prison. Uh, it's, you think if that mind, if that kind of mind was turned to something more uh, beneficial to the race, uh, who knows where we would be as humans. So I'm sure you know this, you may not, but you know that South Africa has got some of the most ingenious and famous jailbreaks of, of all time, right? Yep. You, you may know about some of them. We're going to get to them too. You're going to see them. Oh, you could probably do an entire series on, on just South African jailbreaks. If you, if you go back to 1963 and the, the escape from Marshall Square Police Station, um, the story of the anti-apartheid activist Tim Jenkins' escape from Pretoria Central Prison. You may have heard of that one with the wooden keys. Yes, yes, there, yes. There's some incredible stories. And, and most recently, you may have heard of Ananias Bate. He was a, a serial rapist and a, a murderer who escaped by covering himself in petroleum jelly, or at least that's what the report said, with Vaseline, and he wiggled his way out of his cell that way. I hadn't heard of that one, but I promise you, uh, we're going to stick with it. If the series is, is well received, of course, we just keep going, you know. Um, and we will, of course, get to those stories in South Africa because, uh, well, the idea of South Africa itself is, is fascinating for most of us. If you've never been there, uh, South Africa is fascinating. And if you have been there, it's even more fascinating. What was it for you about South Africa that was fascinating you when you spent time here? <sighs> South Africans, in spite of their history, it, well, how they responded to me, I, 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 that's a different maybe a different kettle of fish, but they're warm. They, they were very warm and ingratiating. Uh, I did a lot of extra things in South Africa besides working on, on the movie. You know, I learned uh, how to play polo cross and uh, stuff like that, you know. 
<laughs> and a bit of rugby too, I'm yeah. sure, no doubt. <laughs> yeah. So, so in the, the build up to the premiere of the documentary series, um, History Channel Africa is going to be screening the seven individual three minute locally produced pieces about some of Africa's greatest escapes. And there are some great stories there. Uh, you know, for example, Churchill's great escape in the Anglo-Boer War, um, L.B. Sachs's great escape as well from, from a bomb in 1988. There really are some, some brilliant stories that are being captured for posterity, but for people to, to also learn about in terms of, of other great escapes, not just from, from prisons. Right. Uh, well, <laughs> you, you may have given us a brilliant idea there. Because uh, I'm not sure that we've thought about escapes other than prison escapes, but you're right. There are there have been some fabulous escapes uh, that are just as fascinating as the ones that we have, uh, have just done. I mean, I don't know. I think maybe the future is just rife with possibilities in terms of that. Mm. And then some of the highlights from the documentary series for you, you obviously go into some of the most notorious prisons in the world, you're taking viewers in there. What stood out for you? Well, uh, let, let's be clear now. We, we have technology that, that allows me to do that without actually having to go inside of a prison. They really don't cotton to it in prisons that, you know, you're coming in here to make a movie or you're coming in here to do a doc no 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 so we use technology all right and and which of the stories for you stand out then even all if you are using out. technology all of them stand out but i but i have such a terrible memory i can't remember the names of them but uh, uh the guys who broke out of nanamora uh the guys who, uh, well, El Chapo, I mean, of course, he's famous. So yeah. We, yeah, and that, they had to tunnel in under the prison to an exact spot. And they did that using GPS. That kind of that's stuff. In, yeah. That's ingenuity, as, as you said. Um, so, Mary, so this has been fantastic, but really quick, uh, if it's one more quick question, we can fit it in and then that's it. Oh, okay, perfect. I, I have one last quick question. Um, it's very much also about what happens to people after they escape, right? Um, yeah. and, and, and where they go after they escape. So I suppose the question I have to ask and I can't leave without asking is, was the Pacific as blue as it has been in Red's dreams? Say that again? Was, it was the Pacific as blue as it was in Red's dream? Uh, <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. I've loved chatting to you. And no, all the best with the so series. Much. The Midday Report with Mandy Wiener. 12 to 1 on 702. 702.